Camus de Poe. Hello. Welcome to our mission house here in Tanza. My wife and I are missionaries of God the Father, the Almighty Maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only begotten Son. Um, and uh, anointed by the Holy Ghost, we brag on Jesus, and Jesus gave us the promise that uh, if you brag on Jesus, these signs shall follow those who believe. Yes, the, uh, these signs shall uh, follow those that believe, that brag on Jesus. And um, in Mark 16, he says, You go into all the world and preach the gospel. Matthew 28, he promises that uh, uh, go ye into all nations, teaching them, teaching and uh, preaching includes bragging on Jesus. And if you preach, the gospel or teach the word you want to brag on Jesus because you want signs to follow you. That's what you want. And since the uh, resurrection of Jesus Christ, the anointing has continued to flow uh, from the cross until the modern day. Every day the anointing uh, continues to flow. Our uh, God keeps his word. Uh, miracles are done every day. And, and uh, he continues to do so. Uh, today, I want to say hello to all of our friends here in Tanza, in the Philippines, in the province of Cavite and any uh, watching here in the Philippines, whether you be in uh, uh, in the province of Palawan or uh, wherever you happen to be here in the Philippines, Los uh, Penas or wherever, Metro Manila, hello to you also and to our friends in the uh, Western Hemisphere, depending on which time zone that you are in, in the Western Hemisphere, you're in uh, this time, it's uh, morning, and some of you are waking up early, some of you are getting uh, breakfast, some are uh, about to head out for work, and doing your Bible study and your prayer time a little bit early. This is not our normal time, but I felt led of the Holy Spirit to do this a little bit early. It's uh, 77 de uh, degrees here in uh, Tanza, and uh, it's probably going to be a good night to sleep good sleeping weather at 77 degrees and we've got uh, rain here in the Philippines rain is good we get an abundant amount of of sunshine and uh, rain is always good always good uh, let's uh, begin in prayer and I want to say first of all if you're one of these people and you feel like your your uh, prayers are bouncing off the ceiling and getting nowhere, if you feel like that uh, uh, the heavens have turned to brass, the prophet uh, Isaiah uh, tells us that we need to examine ourselves for any un, uh, unconfessed a sin in our life because that can interfere 
with our communion with God. If you want to have communion with God, you need to uh, confess your sins and get that taken care of so you can have communion with God. Another reason that you may, uh, uh, your prayers are not being answered is you could be just praying outside of the will of God. So many times believers uh, pray for their own will instead of His will to be done in your life. And sometimes uh, we have not because we ask not. Our, uh, the Word of God tells us if we, if we ask for wisdom that God gives it in abundance. He gives it in abundance. So let's go uh, to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we come to you. You know each and every one uh, watching this broadcast, uh, this uh, prayer time and Bible study uh, right now. We thank you, Father God, that uh, your uh, presence is uh, omnipresent. Uh, you are everywhere, and um, they can uh, sense, if they're open to you, your presence. Thank you for being here with us. We thank you, Father God, that uh, you are omniscient. There is not anything about us that you don't know. You are all-knowing. You have all of the answers and we can trust you there is no plan or secret that is not uh, known to you father god and also we thank you because uh, our god is omnipotent he is all powerful with god all things are possible with him nothing shall be impossible we thank you uh, father that uh, you're touching people right now that they can receive from you right now and we uh, thank you father and praise you uh, healing right now people receiving from you uh, with regard to uh, depression, financial depression, uh, with bills. We thank you, Father God, that we uh, wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places, we, uh, our battle is spiritual. It is uh, uh, spiritual in, uh, against demonic powers and influences and uh, satanic uh, powers in, in high places. And Father God, we come to you. We know, uh, Father God, that uh, you are good you are light and in you is no darkness at all and that you give good things to your children even the holy ghost to those who ask we ask that your kingdom come that uh, we would understand your principles and the benefits of being one of your children uh, that your kingdom come in our lives today, that we learn more of your word, and, uh, and that your will would be done in our lives today. We thank you, Father, and praise you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We believing God, believing uh, for your need today. We are in agreement in a prayer. You pray 
make sure you pray that his kingdom come, his principles come to uh, bear in your life that you learn his word and you apply his word, his teaching to your life today and that you let his will be done in your life today. It's always good to pray uh, in the will of God. Today we're in the Gospel of John uh, chapter 5. The Gospel of John uh, chapter 5. Uh, Jesus is um, he has gone to he gone to Jerusalem and there was a man there uh, and he uh, he was impotent for 38 years and uh, he spoke to the man he said uh, will you be uh, made whole and the impotent man answered and said I have no man when the water is troubled uh, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. Uh, he hasn't received his answer. He hasn't. Uh, someone else uh, is uh, receiving from God, but he has not been able to receive from God. And Jesus spoke to him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And the man didn't say, uh, Jesus, don't you see I've been in this condition for the last 38 years? Don't you see that I'm impotent? Uh, you know, what am I supposed to do? But uh, the Lord said, Rise, take up your uh, bed and walk and he received and the day in which he received was the Sabbath day verse 10 the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured it is the Sabbath day it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed You'll see, as we study the Word of God, that the scribes and Pharisees, they followed Jesus everywhere. They saw the miracles. They saw the healings. They saw the good that was done. And they uh, found a reason uh, to dislike or to complain about the work of God that Jesus was doing. So um, they wrapped in legalism and uh, people, I've got to tell you that uh, the scribes and Pharisees, they are among the people of God today. You have the modern day uh, scribes and Pharisees and many of them you will find on uh, social media you have uh, people trying to have a healthy discussion about God's Word and you have your scribes and, and Pharisees making judgments about people uh, based on their exchange of ideas and posts and so uh, but they exist today uh, but they said it is not lawful for thee to carry your bed he remember the mother of Jesus said the woman at the uh, wedding at Cana of Galilee in uh, the gospel of John chapter 2 the uh, mother of Jesus told those who were serving Jesus, whatever he tells you to do, to do. Today, 
that still applies when the Lord tells you to do something it's good to comply and do what you've been told to do he answered them he that uh, made me whole the same said unto me take up thy bed and walk and uh, they asked him what man is that which said unto thee take up your bed and walk they wanted to know about the authority of this one who gave this instruction and he that was healed he not knew he, he did not know who it was uh, was not who it was for Jesus had conveyed himself away a uh, multitude being in that place it was <coughs> very crowded and he followed the instruction of Jesus he just followed the instructions afterward uh, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him behold you are made whole sin no more lest a worse thing come unto thee so Jesus followed up and told him go sin no more lest a worse thing come upon thee not all sickness is not because of sin uh, but we see that this one in this particular instance it was but the Bible doesn't tell us what it was and uh, we're not given enough information to know uh, to even speculate what kind of sin was involved the man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole brothers and sisters uh, the many of these athletes after they win uh, an important race or uh, a match or tough competition they'll uh, they'll say uh, thank God but when they mention the name of Jesus Christ then many times conflict follows people are not happy therefore did the Jews and you can read this as uh, the scribes and the Pharisees therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day so they began a plot they began to persecute uh, they they you, you, you see hatred uh, for Jesus uh, because Jesus didn't do things in the way in the manner that they approve and as I mentioned before these people they exist today modern day uh, modern day scribes and Pharisees uh, those wrapped up in legalism and uh, they they just don't think that the pastor is doing things the right way they don't didn't do it in the way that they approve now uh, in uh, but Jesus answered them uh, my father works hitherto in uh, I work so Jesus says my father in heaven he's still active he still moves on the Sabbath day and so do I therefore the Jews the scribes and the Pharisees the religious the uh, the uh, even the high priest uh, the religious people uh, sought the more to kill him because he had 
not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Yes, uh, we uh, are told in the word of God that, that Jesus, being in the form of God, I thought it not robbery to be uh, equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. He didn't exalt himself in his ministry, but he made himself of no reputation. He came in the form of a servant and became obedient to of the laws of death, even the cross. And for that reason, God, our Father, has given him a name that is higher than any other name, that at the name, at, under the authority of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's a prophetic word for the future. Then Jesus, uh, then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son of God can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also does the Son likewise. So we see here that Jesus uh, is imitating. He's acting within the pattern or the example of God the Father. For the Father loves the Son and shows himself all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. For as the Father, as the Father raises up the dead and quickens them, uh, even so, the Son quickens whom he will. He follows the example of uh, God our Father. What he sees the Father do, he, he mirrors that action. Uh, for the Father uh, judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. Um, and we see in the scriptures the, the uh, knowledge that uh, um, I will have mercy on whom I choose to have mercy. A lot of people don't uh, like this. There's a lot of people who want to judge. And so even though uh, Jesus teaches uh, us to judge not, uh, or else we will be judged in the same way that we, the same method that we use, uh, the same patterns that we use uh, to uh, judge others is how we ourselves will be judged if we use the Word of God and Scriptures to judge our brothers and sisters in Christ then uh, our Father in Heaven says that we will be judged in the same way. If, we, uh, uh, if we're quick to judge others, then uh, we will be quickly judged in the same manner. Uh, for the Father judges uh, no man, but hath committed all judgment unto his Son that all men should uh, honor the Son even as they 
honor the Father. He that honors not the Son honors not the Father which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that hears my word and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. So we see that uh, through, uh, we see, first of all, verily, verily, that means you pay attention, hold on, pay attention. Uh, he uh, gives a promise to believers. Yes, that was why we pray that his kingdom come. This is why we study the word. So we find out the benefits and responsibilities of being in the uh, kingdom of heaven. <laughs> I find out what our benefits are. Uh, so that we can take the Word of God and apply it right away <coughs> to our lives. Um, so, uh, so He's given us saving faith or that uh, saving uh, grace. Uh, and He gives us eternal life that uh, God so loved the world that He gave us his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him and the Son shall not perish, <coughs> but have everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. We know Romans 8 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who have been born again uh, verse 25 verily verily I say unto you the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live for as the Father has uh, life in himself so hath he given the son to have life in himself and hath given him authority to execute judgment uh, also because he is the son of man marvel not at this for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have uh, done evil unto the resurrection of damnation yes there's time coming uh, when he uh, speaks to those in the grace, the voice of God, we know 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 says that, that the Lord himself shall descend with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and then the dead in Christ uh, shall rise First, then those of us who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord Jesus in the air. Uh, Jesus is the conqueror. He is the one who has conquered uh, death. Uh, we, uh, the resurrection, the first resurrection, and since that first resurrection day, that uh, unction, the uh, anointing has continued to flow down through the years from the cross, the grace of Jesus, and uh, miracles are done, prayers are answered every 
single day and have been for pretty close to 2,000 years. Yes, it's been pretty close to 2,000 years since Resurrection Day. Um, uh, so, uh, it says verse 30, I can of mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my ju judgment is just. Because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. If I bear witness, uh, my witness, if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Therefore is another that beareth witness for me, and I know that the witness which he uh, witnesses of me is true. Uh, he sent me, ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth, but I receive not testimony from men, but these things I say that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, talking about John uh, the Baptist. And ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the words which the Father hath given me to finish the same works that I do uh, bear witness of me that the Father hath sent me, and the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom ye he hath sent, ye him ye believe not. He says that uh, I have the message of the Father, and if you uh, if you uh, love the Father, you would love the Son, and if you love you would love the message that I give you. Uh, verse thirty nine. Search the Scriptures. For in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know ye, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. You'll reject me, the genuine, but you will receive one that is not genuine, one that is false, one that is fraudulent, him you will receive. How can ye believe? How can ye believe which receives honor one of another and seek not the honor that comes from God only? Do not think that I will uh, accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For ye had, for had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. 
But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? So Jesus gave testimony. He was explaining to them who he was. They see they had partial knowledge. They had partial knowledge of the Messiah to come. They knew that at the uh, each Passover they make uh, preparations for the arrival or for the presence of the Messiah. They they do this, but they don't know which uh, Passover. Mary had part, the mother of Jesus had partial revelation. She did not have full revelation, but she had partial. She knew that to, to prepare for the Messiah uh, at Passover, making preparation, she didn't know which uh, Passover. And so when Jesus says, this is not my time, he's telling their, his mom that it's not this Passover. My time has not come. It's not this one. John the Baptist, they believed that he was the Messiah, that they did not understand that he was coming to establish the spiritual kingdom. To they, they were confused based on their uh, partial revelation. They assumed that Jesus had come to establish the earthly kingdom at that time. And so the scribes and the Pharisees, the religious leaders, they had a partial knowledge. They could tell something was up with uh, Jesus. They could uh, tell that there was something in the air, that, uh, but they didn't like what they were hearing uh, from Jesus. They didn't like it. Uh, and uh, so today there are people who uh, they, they understand the word, and, uh, but they have partial knowledge, but not full revelation. The only one who has full revelation is our Father in Heaven. <coughs> if there's someone suggesting to you that they are a know-it-all, and they might not come across and say, I am a know-it-all, but uh, they think that they're seldom wrong. Uh, they may not agree with me or agree with you, and uh, but they might not have the answer. they just contrary. But we know that Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the way. And he tells us that his ways are higher than our ways, and his, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. God's way is better. It's a higher way. So that is why we are wise as children of God to pray for His kingdom to come so that we can understand more of the Word of God and scriptures and apply those scriptures to our life today. Jesus said that these who did this were wise and the foolish were those who uh, know they're here from God but they choose not to apply the teaching now for whatever reason, for whatever excuse. Generally, uh, they think that they're smarter than God. So we want 
his kingdom to come. We want to take his word and apply it to our lives today. The benefits of being a child of God. Uh, we want to apply as many of them as possible in this fallen world and pray for his kingdom his king his kingdom but his will also to be done in our lives as it is in heaven many of us we are tempted to pray for what we want we want our will to be done we want it to be done in our time but uh, his timing is perfect and his will uh, for our lives is better than our will for ourselves <coughs> and so uh, we're uh, <coughs> wise to take the word of God and apply it to our lives today um, we want to come to a stop here don't want to get in uh, too deep next time we're going to begin and in, in uh, the Gospel of John chapter 6 uh, we uh, want to let you know that God is doing great things here in the Philippines. The success of uh, this ministry is not because Luz and I are super smart or because of business savvy. It's because of the hand of God. And he always... Uh, meets our need and many times uh, he speaks to children of God to help us to come alongside and help pay our bills the Lord uh, spoke to me he showed me um, the mission walked into the mission and uh, took the proper steps and turned around and it was huge it was bigger than I expected and I said uh, Father God all of these people how am I going to help all those people and he said I'm going to minister to he said I will speak to my children who have a calling like yours they're called to do a work much like you are engaged in and until they are ready to step out I will speak to them and they will help to pay the bills so uh, if you contact us we can make sure you have the uh, correct links so that you can uh, be involved too if you want information about coming to the Philippines to do a work here if you want to work with us uh, contact us and we'll get that information give you the best information that we can give you but, uh, but most of all if you want to help but you can't come right now We'll get you one of those links where you can help to pay some of those bills. And we thank you for listening to the Lord being obedient and, and uh, reaching out to help. Father God, we thank you for those who are present. Lord, we pray that everyone would uh, take your kingdom principles and apply them to their lives today and we ask for every one of them that they would allow your will to be done in their lives today we thank you father we praise you in jesus name 
we pray, amen. Uh, to those of you here in the Philippines, Magandang uh, Gabe, uh, and you'll be headed for bed shortly or soon. Uh, so, uh, Dios Libendega. And for others of you uh, on a different uh, on a different continent, different time zone, uh, you've got things to you have know, got appointments and things to do today. So, uh, uh, Dios Libendega. God bless you in uh, your pursuits and and uh, via can Dios. May God be with you. We'll see you again soon. Have a great day.